Welcome to the guide on building your domino layer by taking mine apart. Intro. Yeah, this is my last video with this domino layer. So, let's make it count. So first off, I'm going to go over the piston, the driving base, and then how I actually got this robot to run. That's the piston. So when the motor turned on the robot, the small gear here with 12 teeth and the large gear here with 60 teeth um, gave the piston a 5-1 ratio. So when you turn this, the piston goes out and back. Um, in the actual robot, it had some bar thing. I don't know how you call it. So it would stop it from kicking up like that. So it would just slide back. So what the piston does is takes the feet of dominoes and as it goes down it pushes it out in a line. You want to make sure that the piston moves very slowly so the dominoes don't fly out and fall over. In the rest of the robot, we have this motor, which had the axle that kept this gear in place and turned this smaller gear, the medium gear. That axle also connected the piston, so I only needed one motor for this entire robot. That axle uh, also had two gears on it, so it could transfer the motion in two separate directions. So when this turns, there's an axle that goes between here. So these two gears are connected. And what that does is transfers the motion to this gear, which follows down the line to this medium gear which if you look right here I have a video that goes over this in a little more detail so if you are building one of these I recommend to make the driving much slower by using a slower gear ratio uh, check that out at this video so you can make a slower gear ratio for driving and still slow but fast for the driving of the piston. There's two menus on this brain. It's the programs and the settings. What you want to do is toggle to the settings by pressing the X on the brain. And then go to device info, which is one click down, and then press the check mark to open it. Next, you should see um, different ports. By using the arrows, find the one that um, you've plugged your motor into. Once you found that, you can press the check mark, and then this will start spinning. and then press the X to stop. I use this in my domino layer so I can avoid the hassle of actually putting effort and putting programming into it when you could just do the device info and then test motor. And it works just the same if you programmed it. Hey, thanks for watching and thank you to Max Felt who actually posted the comment Remember, I do look at those, and if you've seen the uh, gear ratio video part 2, I also made a video like this off of someone's comment. So, if you still have some unanswered questions on how this robot works, that is awesome. Because you have the comment section, and you get to find out something new when you build your robot. So, if you can tell a friend or leave a like about this channel, that would really help. And, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you Monday.
Oh man, it's gone. I have no more domino layer. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. You can build more stuff, like a combination lock I'm planning on doing uh, in a later series. So, once again, if you could leave a like, that would really help. And click on one of these videos to further improve your robotic skills. So, thanks for watching, and this is a short outro. I'll probably stretch it out by saying random words. Or just staring at you. Alright, see you Monday.